Are you a man who strives for wisdom and self-mastery? Picture this. You're in a relationship, and things seem to be going smoothly until one day. Tensions arise. Instead of maintaining your composure, you react impulsively, damaging the trust you built. Sound familiar? Well, today's video is for you, fellow seekers of virtue. Join me as we delve into the nine things smart men should avoid when navigating relationships, drawing insights from the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. Stick around and let's embark on this journey towards relational wisdom together. 1. Attempting to control our partners is a misguided attempt to exert power over them, often stemming from insecurity or fear of vulnerability. In Stoicism, control is viewed as an illusion. The only true control lies within ourselves, over our own thoughts and actions. By seeking to control others, we not only undermine their autonomy but also create a toxic dynamic based on mistrust and resentment. Instead, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, our attitudes, behaviors, and responses. By practicing self-mastery and relinquishing the desire to control, we foster healthier, more authentic relationships built on mutual respect and trust. Furthermore, attempting to control others often stems from a lack of acceptance of reality as it is. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the concept of a more fatty, the love of fate, which entails accepting events and circumstances beyond our control with grace and equanimity. By accepting that we cannot control others or external circumstances, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to manipulate outcomes. This acceptance allows us to focus on what truly matters, cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance, which ultimately leads to greater fulfillment and contentment in our relationships. 2. Respecting boundaries is essential for fostering trust, safety, and mutual respect in any relationship. Boundaries delineate the limits of acceptable behavior and define personal space, autonomy, and individuality. Ignoring or disregarding these boundaries can lead to feelings of violation, resentment, and mistrust. In Stoic philosophy, recognizing and respecting boundaries aligns with the virtue of justice, treating others with fairness, dignity, and respect. Moreover, Honoring boundaries reflects a commitment to practicing virtue ethics, which emphasizes cultivating moral character and living in accordance with reason and wisdom. By acknowledging and respecting the boundaries set by our partners, we demonstrate empathy, compassion, and consideration for their needs and preferences. In doing so, we create a foundation of trust and intimacy that is essential for fostering healthy and fulfilling relationships. Ultimately, embracing boundaries allows us to cultivate virtues such as temperance, moderation, and self-control, which are integral to living a life of flourishing and fulfillment according to Stoic principles. 3. Reacting emotionally in relationships can often lead to conflict, misunderstanding, and emotional distress for both parties involved. Stoicism teaches us the importance of cultivating emotional resilience and maintaining an inner calm in the face of adversity. By practicing emotional detachment and refraining from impulsive reactions, we can navigate challenging situations with clarity, reason, and composure. Moreover, reacting emotionally often stems from a lack of self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and introspection, enabling us to understand and manage our emotions effectively. By cultivating mindfulness and self-control, we can respond to situations thoughtfully and rationally rather than being driven by fleeting emotions. In essence, practicing emotional discipline aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the transient nature of emotions and striving for inner tranquility and equanimity. By mastering our emotions and responding with wisdom and temperance, we can foster deeper connections, mutual understanding, and harmony in our relationships. 4. Seeking validation from our partners can erode self-confidence and self-esteem as it places our sense of worth in the hands of others. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate self-reliance and inner strength, recognizing that our worth is inherent and independent of external validation. By focusing on self-improvement and personal growth, we can build a strong sense of self-worth that is not reliant on external approval. Furthermore, seeking validation from others often stems from a fear of rejection or a desire for approval and acceptance. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of self-sufficiency, finding fulfillment and contentment within ourselves rather than seeking it from external sources. By cultivating virtues such as courage, resilience, and integrity, we can develop a sense of self-worth that is grounded in authenticity and integrity. In essence, practicing self-validation aligns with the Stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, 
recognizing the inherent dignity and worth of every individual. By cultivating self-awareness and self-acceptance, we can free ourselves from the need for external validation and live authentically, with confidence and conviction. 5. Neglecting self-improvement in relationships can hinder personal growth and development, leading to stagnation and complacency. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of continuous self-improvement and lifelong learning as essential aspects of virtuous living. By embracing the Stoic principle of aerate, excellence of character, we commit to continually striving for moral and intellectual development. Furthermore, neglecting self-improvement can also impact the quality of our relationships as personal growth often contributes to greater empathy, understanding, and emotional intelligence. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate virtues such as wisdom, temperance, and courage, which are essential for fostering healthy and fulfilling relationships. By investing in our own growth and development, we become better partners, friends, and individuals. In essence, prioritizing self-improvement aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the inherent potential for growth and development within each of us. By embracing the journey of self-discovery and personal growth, we can cultivate greater fulfillment, resilience, and authenticity in our relationships and our lives. 6. Allowing jealousy to consume us in relationships can poison trust, breed insecurity, and damage intimacy. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate virtue and wisdom, including the virtue of moderation. By practicing moderation in our emotions, particularly jealousy, we can maintain a healthy balance and perspective in our relationships. Furthermore, jealousy often stems from a lack of self-confidence and trust in oneself and one's partner. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate self-assurance and trust in our own worth and the strength of our relationships. By focusing on building mutual trust, open communication, and emotional intimacy, we can overcome jealousy and foster greater harmony and security in our relationships. In essence, practicing moderation and trust aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the transient and impermanent nature of emotions and attachments. By cultivating virtue and wisdom, we can navigate the complexities of relationships with grace, resilience, and integrity. 7. Avoiding vulnerability in relationships can hinder intimacy, authenticity, and emotional connection. Stoicism encourages us to embrace vulnerability as a natural aspect of the human experience, recognizing that true strength lies in our willingness to be open and authentic with our partners. Furthermore, avoiding vulnerability often stems from a fear of rejection or judgment. Stoicism teaches us to confront our fears with courage and resilience, acknowledging that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to our humanity. By embracing vulnerability, we create space for deeper emotional intimacy, empathy, and connection in our relationships. In essence, embracing vulnerability aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the inherent interdependence and interconnectedness of all beings. By embracing vulnerability, we cultivate greater empathy, compassion, and understanding, fostering deeper and more meaningful connections with our partners. 8. Disrespecting the independence of our partners can undermine their autonomy, dignity, and sense of self-worth. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of treating others with respect and dignity, recognizing their inherent value as rational beings capable of making their own choices. Furthermore, disrespecting independence often stems from a desire for control or a lack of trust in our partner's abilities. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate trust and respect in our relationships, honoring the autonomy and agency of our partners. By fostering an environment of mutual respect and support, we create space for personal growth, empowerment, and fulfillment. In essence, respecting independence aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the inherent dignity and autonomy of all individuals. By honoring the independence of our partners, we foster healthier, more equitable, and more fulfilling relationships built on mutual respect, trust, and integrity. 9. Disregarding communication in relationships can lead to misunderstandings, conflict, and emotional distance. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of clear and open communication as essential for fostering understanding, empathy, and connection with our partners. Furthermore, disregarding communication often stems from a fear of confrontation or a desire to avoid discomfort. Stoicism teaches us to confront challenges with courage and honesty, recognizing that open communication is essential for resolving conflicts and building trust in relationships. 
By fostering a culture of open dialogue and active listening, we create opportunities for mutual understanding, growth, and intimacy. In essence, prioritizing communication aligns with the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature, recognizing the inherent need for connection and understanding in all relationships. By embracing communication as a cornerstone of healthy relationships, we cultivate deeper empathy, trust, and intimacy with our partners, fostering greater harmony and fulfillment in our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the nine things smart men should not do with women, guided by Stoic principles. Remember, embracing Stoic philosophy can not only enrich your relationships but also enhance your overall well-being and fulfillment in life. Keep practicing virtue, cultivating resilience, and fostering meaningful connections with those around you. Until next time, stay wise and resilient.